My name is Seasing, and I'll be showing you how to balance box. This is a box break that relies on desync, mainly used for getting through turn backs, push backs, or death barriers on a horizontal plane. To begin your balance box, you will need another player, who will be referred to as the observer, as well as being above 66 frames per second. Although that is the minimum required, I would recommend 90 or more for your best chance of getting this easily. This means it cannot be done on console, regardless of being on new gen. Despite being very simple, there are some complicated mechanics I'll take time to explain. Sparrows kick you off if you're considered upside down for too long. If you try to balance your sparrow on its nose, you may pass the threshold despite not technically being upside down, meaning you still get kicked off. Essentially, all balance box is, is balancing your sparrow as close to that threshold as possible. This seems easy, but you're also fighting gravity. Lean too far forward and you get kicked off, but if you aren't far enough forward, you will fall back to the ground if you let go of your movement keys. The goal is to be able to balance in a way that even if you let go of all your inputs, you're still riding your sparrow while balancing. This tiny sweet spot in between the two areas will be called the safe zone. This safe zone widens the higher your frame rate is, and tightens the lower it is, until you reach 66 fps where the safe zone disappears completely. I'll begin a demonstration. As you can see from my inputs, I'm not pressing any movement keys, yet I'm still balanced. This is the first half of the box break done. To know if you're fully in it, you can dismount your sparrow, and get back on. If you're still balancing without pressing anything, you've done it. This is where the observer comes in. They will cause the desync for us. Since you can't balance in this way under 66 fps, you will have your friend tab out so their frames drop to 30. This will cause you to fall over on their screen, while you are still balanced on yours. It's important to note that you might not fall immediately upon them all tabbing, as sometimes it only happens once you begin boosting. Speaking of which, that is what we'll do next. First, turn your camera 180 degrees. From here, hold down destabilizers, and then boost. Do not press any movement keys at all, only destabilize and boost. If done right, the other person will see you driving away. Do this until you are past the desired barriers you plan to breach, but make sure you still have line of sight to where you see your sparrow on your screen. Once you're far enough away, you simply hop off and remount as fast as possible. If done right, you will teleport with your sparrow. It will only teleport if the observer is looking at the spot you drove it to on their screen, so make sure they continue to watch it. That is how you balance box. If you went out to try this right now, it's possible you run into one of a few issues, which I'll explain now. The first issue is that even if you're balanced in the safe zone, you may fall over upon boosting on your screen. This is because the safe zone has a very small section of it where you're still balanced without pressing anything, but not close enough to the kickoff threshold. The solution to this is that once you're in the safe zone, Still try to lean forward a tiny bit more to be closer to the edge. The second issue will come from trying to remount. You may find that you're getting on your sparrow without it teleporting, or that it teleports too fast to remount. The former can be solved by slowly taking longer to remount each time you hop off, as you have unlimited tries to do it. The latter can be solved by having the observer move away from you more and more. This issue stems from connection. So if the ping between you both is minimal, you may not have enough time to remount regardless of distance. Overall, balance box is a great no setup box break, but at the cost of being varyingly inconsistent and difficult to understand at first. I hope this video helps. If you would like more in-depth help in learning Sparrow related tech, feel free to join the 4-discord server.